Hello everyone and welcome to this quick tutorial on how to run a React app inside GameFace. To get started, we will use the create React app command to create our project. Now if you use the create React app command that is the default one, we will create a project that we will have some difficulties running in game phase as not all the default features that are enabled are supported. For this reason we've created our own template which we can load using the create react app command. We need to enter our project name so let's call this one game phase react. Then we need to do scripts version which will be react scripts HTML and template which will be CRA template HTML. and if we press enter we will start creating our project okay now that we have our project built we can enter it and do npm start to run a dev server. So th this dev server will run at localhost on port 3000, which we can see that it's already running. So let's just choose another one. This will run probably in 3001. So yep, we can see it opening here in Chrome. So to run this in our player to develop, we can go to our folder where our player notepad file is and let's press edit with notepad. So here we can see this start player command and it has a URL argument that we can now just go and select and paste our localhost 3001. So if we are on our player bed and we'll see this current game face, hello from current labs running. And now we can do go to our source app.js and let's remove this text hello from current labs. And if we open it, we can see it's no longer here without us having to reload the page. The reason is that we're using full page reload as hot module reloading is not fully supported in game phase. So we've opted for a better developer experience. And now I'm going to show you how to include the coishtml.js library in your React project so you're able to communicate between it and the game. So we can go get our coishtml.js file which is located in the samples in library. If you are using another package it may be located in a different place but it will be in a folder called frontend and then library or something like that. It's not going to be the it, it's not going to have such a big change. So we can go to our folder and let's paste this file in our source. So we can now go to our app.js and let's do import star as engine from coachhtml dot js and let's save but now we see that there is some errors that our linter has found and this is because it tries to link this coishtml.js file in order to prevent that we can do go to our game face react folder and create a es lint ignore file and inside let's add source coishtml.js or the path to your file so now if we save 
we have to run it again. So now if we run it again, we can see there are no more errors. And let's refresh it and it works as expected. Now we can test it if it actually does work. So we can do import use effect from React. And in our app, let's do use effect. Let's create a mock model. Let's call it model. And let's just add a text, here which will be hello from labs. And let's syn synchronize the models. Oh, first we need to wrap this in a engine when ready call. Since this needs to happen when the engine is ready for bindings, now we can do data bind value and add model.text. And let's refresh. We see hello from current labs. Let's change it to game face. We can see changes here. So now this is working. And the last thing I want to show was how you can do data bind for or any structured data binding on a React component. So React components, let's create a new one and let's call it I don't know, let's call it square.js and let's do port react from react and let's do export default function square props. Okay. And our function, let's just turn a square. Let's put in inside the data bind value. We can okay, you have to do it like this. So we can do props and dot model and let's do value index or it will be actually be easier like this so index and let's do number doesn't really matter uh, let's close it oh, just a second. let's close it and uh, this should be Props index. Okay. Now we have this. We can do import square. Uh, let's add. Let's actually add some styling so we can see it better. Uh, let's do with like with. Also be a hundred. Let's add a background color of uh, let's make it blue. Oh, let's also add a color white so we can see the number better and font size freeram. Cool. So if we Add this, let's add outside over here. Let's call it like this. And if we open this, we see our blue square here. 
So what if we want to do a data bind for on this one? Let's just make a simple diff. And there are square inside and we can do data bind for. And of course we need to add this actually to our model. So let's go values. And do it like that. So let's do I mean the first the iterator. So model values. Uh, let's do it like this. So if we open it now, we can see five squares lined up beneath each other. Then if we want to paste the data, let's remove this. For now, let's just leave it like that. So we have model and we can go square model and we can pass like that. Go ahead hit the right. So now we have pass, we can see it's one, two, three to five. And this is everything you need to go to get started with your React project in game phase. Thank you for watching and have a great day.